So earlier in the year, we partnered with Imagine Dragons on a big program that was called Make the Cut. We, when they were filming their official music video for the song Believer that you'll see featured here at our booth, they, uh, we decided to do something a little bit different and, and give all of this raw you know, professional footage to the audience for them to be able to use it and make their own edit of, a, of the music video and tell their own story through their creative. And the, you know, the rules were basically use Adobe products and, and create something great. So obviously Premiere was the program of choice for editing, but some of our audience members actually use different elements of the creative cloud, such as Illustrator, Photoshop, um, Audition, and After Effects. So we saw a lot of visual effects being included in some of their submissions. So after, uh, you know, we've had we had thousands of submissions to the to the program, and just on May 25th, we actually announced the winners, where we had five total categories uh, and one grand prize winner. And some of the categories were, you know, best short form content or uh, youngest creator category and things like that. Um, so on May 25th, we actually announced a grand prize winner where we flew him into our San Jose headquarters under the pretense that he was one of the top five finalists and we were bringing all the finalists in and we were going to make a decision there. But what he was really walking into was a surprise party that we were throwing for him at the, at the offices. And he had a personalized video from the Imagine Dragons congratulating him. His name was Adam Henderson and he's from Texas. I think he was from Austin, Texas. And he's a... a a video editor out there. So it was just a really great uh, a great campaign with a great finish. He was just a, a, an amazing recipient of the award. He's super talented and all that. So with all of the momentum that we had on this project, we decided to take this the Make the Cut experience and bring it to VidCon and, and do what we are calling Make the Cut Live, where we've recreated one of the sets from the music video, and our fans are allowed to come in and Video the, get videoed for a few seconds and then they go to one of the workstations in the center of our booth and have their footage included in a clip of the actual music video and then using some of our other newer technologies, technologies that we have such as motion graphics templates that allow them to add a personal touch to it that's, that basically puts their name in the music video and then they export it and share it on social. So the idea is, is it generates about a 30 or 40 second clip of the music video starring you with your name on it. So it's a really great personalized takeaway.